alum. It is 9.20ish, somewhere around there, and I'm at Providence train station in, obviously, Providence, Rhode Island. So, join me. So, join me with my very wacky journey to check out the Green Line Extension, the Medford branch, on day one. First train, 4.45 a.m., Medford, Massachusetts. It is snowing, it is very much cold, and this is going to be quite an interesting night for me, because I have never done anything like this before, and I do not know if I will even consider doing something like this again. This has got to be among the craziest things I have ever even conceived of doing. And so, what is the Green Line Extension? Well, I'll bring it back to my pre to my historical self. Once he's done rambling, we should be in Medford by then. All right, all right. Here's some context with the Green Line Extension. So, to give some background information, just in case you don't know, the Green Line is Boston's Frankenstein light rail slash street trolley slash street car system, whatever the heck you want to call it. Do not call it a tram. If you call it a tram, you are an idiot. You are clearly Eurobrain, and you should go back to London. That aside, the Green Line has four branches out in the west. Now two up north, with a central subway linking the two of the two sections. Of course, you have the B branch now. There is no A branch. There used to be one. However, they scrapped it and replaced it with a bus route. So, that's why you won't hear much of any mention about an A branch on the Green Line. It used to exist. It was horrible. It performed horribly. And they axed it, basically. But basically, it would go all the way out to Watertown and Oak Square. But, since it doesn't exist anymore, I'm not going to talk about it much. The B branch goes from Government Center, I think it's Government Center, pretty sure it is, to Boston College, near the town line with Newton. The C branch goes all the way out to Cleveland Circle. The D branch runs from Union Square, not Park Street like the B and C, goes from Union Square, which is also one of the Green Line Extension stations, all the way to Riverside out in Newton, Massachusetts. And I will say, Riverside is a much, much better station than Newton's commuter rail stations. And then, you have the venerable E Branch. Of course, the E Branch goes from the Heath Street v Medical Center, the Heath Street VA Medical Center. Well, it's just Heath Street, but the announcements call it Heath Street VA Medical Center. All the way through Huntington Avenue, and all the way up to Tufts University in Medford. Formerly, it used to go all the way down to Forest Hills via the Arbor Way, but, cool, but that was temporarily suspended suspended, or more like permanently temporarily suspended, in the 80s. Of course, they all then converge around Kenmore, go through Kenmore, Arlington, Copley, Hind, no, I don't think the E goes to Hind. Kenmore, um, let's see, Copley, 
Arlington Street, Boylston Street, Park Street, where it interfaces with the red line. Uh, let's see, what else? Government Center, where it interfaces with the blue line. Haymarket and North Station, where it interfaces with the orange line at most. And also the commuter rail on the Down Easter at North Station. And then it goes on up to Science Park, Leechmere, and then splits off to either Union Square or into Medford. Alright, some historical context to go with this. Of course, proposals existed all the way back as far back as the early 20th century, back when the Boston Elevated Railway, aka Barry, was in operation and was the big name in town. Of course, this proposal had it running basically parallel to what's now Interstate 93. That never happened, obviously. And then since then, it's largely been a low priority, a low priority thing on the to-do list of very the MTA and later the MBTA. Oh. And then the 80s came around, and the MBTA was looking to axe the Causeway Street elevator, which did happen. However, the extension did not. Although that these plans did call for a relocated leech meter, which we eventually did get. But needless to say, what ended up happening was that North Station got a new orange and green line stop underground. Um, yeah, and the rest of the that line ended up going underground as well. Presumably part of big dig mitigations. I don't know if that was even a thing yet at the time. However, one thing is for sure is that the whole Green Line extension became a higher priority task when with the big dig mitigation lawsuits. Now, in case y'all don't know what the big dig is, L T L D R it for y'all. MassDOT decided to bury Interstates 90 and 93 in Boston. It was a big fiasco. It was not pretty. A few people even died once it was open. And let's just say it went grossly over budget. Alright, Union Square. Union Square branch opened back in March. Basically, along with this is obviously you got the new right of way to Union Square. But you also had a slightly rehabilitated science park, which was already rebuilt a few years prior. You had a rebuilt Leechmere, a few, a little ways east along the new right of way. And you have a brand spanking new station at Union Square in Somerville, which is fit snugly right next to the Fitchburg line right of way. It's between the. It's between the commuter rail maintenance facility and Porter Square. Porter Square being the first stop on the Fitchburg line, of course. Here's what it looks like. Of course you have... Of course you have Union Square up here. The line continues on to Porter Square. Goes down, largely follows the right of way goes and then meets up with the old right of way at Beachmere. Of course you have Beachmere which got rebuilt and down here you have Science Park which was rehabilitated but didn't need any rebuilds and then it goes on to North Station. Then you have the Medford Branch which is a five stop extension of course. It stops at obviously Medford Tufts aka Tufts Medford A.K. College Avenue, A.K. whatever the hell you want to call it at this point, because I don't think even the MBTA is consistent at, at this point. And it hasn't even opened yet as, as of me recording this pre-recorded segment. But you also have intermediate stops at places like Bulb Square, Magoon Square, Gilman Square, and East Somerville. All of these open on December 12, 2022 which will be when I record the rest of this video. Of course, here's the right of way. 
Google does not have the stop listings yet. However, I did my best to approximate the right of way. I will say confident with confidence though, that does largely mirror the Luo line's right of way. We have Medford Tufts University College Avenue all the way up here. Of course, you have Ball Square, Gilman Square, Magoon Square around here. I don't remember the exact placements, but whatever. And you have East Somerville somewhere down here. And then it continues on to Leechmere and Science Park. And that's pretty much it for the his for context of this thing. And now back to my modern day self. Hey everyone, I am back again after that Amtrak ride, and after my ramblings about the context of the Green Line extension. So, it is now like quarter past two in the morning, and I am in Medford, Massachusetts. So, our goal is to get to Tufts University by yeah, quarter to four, three forty-five, which should be, which is an easy enough job. I just have to make sure I don't slip and fall or whatnot. It is cold. I will say that much, and we will probably run into a few foamers along the way. I'm trying to think who specifically is going to be there, but I know a few people from the Miles in Transit Discord server. Um, I'm trying to think of names. Noelle, I think, is one of them. Yeah, Noelle is one of them. Uh, I think Miles himself might be there, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Um... I'm trying to think who else is going to be there. And there's going to be a few others there as well. Y'all will probably see them in the, in the video later on. And to those that were that end up seeing this later, that are at the Green Line Extension Grand Opening, hi! Um, okay. Of course, it has sno since stopped snowing. It had stopped snowing at some point while I was on the regional train 166, the very last train of the night to arrive in the South Station. It is cold. Don't get me wrong. So, right. Our itinerary today is we're going to go to Medford Tops. We are then going to ride the first train, which is an E branch train, all the way down to Heath Street VA Medical Center. And then we're all gonna ride that back up. Might get breakfast at some point. I'm thinking, I don't know, Kelly's Diner or something. And then after that, attend some of the Green Line festivities and check out the other stations. That being, as I said earlier, East, Summer East Somerville, Gilman Square, Magoon Square, Ball Square, as well as Leechmere and Science Park. So... Yeah. Now, this will probably be my last major thing for the year. And my next major ish project will be centered around southern Connecticut. And with that, I would like to wish everyone who celebrates 
a happy holiday. I don't care what you celebrate, just happy holidays, happy Pesquibus, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. I know that's not exactly an exhaustive list, but it's the best I can do. Right. We'll see y'all when we get to Medford. <laughs> All right, and we're at Tufts University, AK Medford Tufts, AK College Avenue, AK whatever the MBTA is gonna call it tomorrow. And there is a crowd of people to say these, and the news. Neat. But yeah, there's definitely quite the crowd of foamers and presumably locals as well. Probably some combination. Um, I guess I'll cut to, I don't know, the first train ride. If we find any big wigs, like, I don't know, Steve Pop Tack or something. I really don't know. My hands are cold. I've been out here since like two something in the morning. This is just a test of pure endurance for me. I'll say that much. Oh yeah, Tufts University. I think I know someone who goes to Tufts, but I haven't heard from them in years. All right? Jump cut. Well, it's about time the station opens. We've got a big, big crowd here, all awaiting the train. Now I think I don't even think everyone's gonna fit on the first train. But let's see. Maybe it'll be a three-car train. The rare three car. Will it be a type seven? Will it be a type eight? Who knows? Struggling to get through. Um, hopefully, I do not die in this stampede. This... Dear God. Oh. oh. Holy. All right. We got some space. <laughs> Anyways. What's your name first name? Right. Um. Oh shoot, there's a bathroom. All right, plus one for this station. It has bathrooms. 
<laughs> they won in some dead pixels already. This is a lot more chaotic than the Silver Line. Oh, saying. yeah. <laughs> this is real theme. Yes. All right. <laughs> Seems it subsided. <laughs> Let's head down. Well, so a colleague of mine. Uh, I've been walking at least three times people that I thought were going to be here. And then says that's the price. Yeah. So, like, what do you do? Like, you parked up by the agency here, walked right away down to eat someone else, and then just took uh, the green line back. Uh, I wish you guys were like, you guys were like, they want you in because you get a death. Yeah, if you have not validated your fare, that's the right thing to do. This is chaotic to say the least.
much to see here. You have wheelchair lift from benches. Now down clock. It is cold out here. So overall, not a lot to see. All right, ball square. So we have vending machines over there. We have island platform, y'all safety strip, Helvetica, a whole bunch of people here, and the Luol line. Oh yeah, elevator and stairs. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll have to say mm, seven out of 10, maybe a six and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna go with seven. Probably a seven, a seven, a six and a half. All right, Gilman Square, elevator, MBTA sign. Um, I think there's another elevator down there. I can't tell. That looks like another elevator. Yellow safety strip. Helvetica, just the map, benches, not much to ring home about. Quite truthfully, I could have gone finished that video and gone to Leech Mirror Science Park, but quite honestly, I've been going since 5 in the mo 5 30 in the morning yesterday. I really don't have the energy to do so, so fortunately I have to cut the video short. And I think I might have said I was gonna go to Union Square as well, but again, same reason have to cut the video short a little. But, holy midlife crisis, Batman. Nevertheless, hopefully y'all enjoy the video, and if you celebrate the holidays, enjoy your holidays. If not, well, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever. See y'all in 